Hello world, I'm Jeff Hamby, this is Appealing Information, and we're here in the Bailey and Oliver courtroom in order to help you learn more about motorcycle safety. You know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I've, I've had this noise in my ears for the last two days. It sounds almost like a rumbling sound, like motorcycles coming up the highway. You know, that's probably what it is. It's probably motorcycles coming up the highway for Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. We're going to have thousands and thousands of people coming in, riding motorcycles in our streets, riding motorcycles around our cars, and we need to make sure to not cause wrecks. In order to help you with that, we've got three easy tips that you can follow to help you drive safely around motorcycles. Tip number one, look twice. It's pretty normal for a person with a vehicle that has four wheels to look for other vehicles that have four wheels. We look down the road, we don't see something coming with two headlights and a big windshield, we think it's clear. Problem is, that is not true whenever the weather is nice. It's especially not true when we know we have thousands of motorcycles driving around our streets. So we need to look for, look for big vehicles first and then look again to make sure there's no motorcycles coming. They're smaller, they're easier to miss, but it is your job to make sure that you don't pull out in front of them. That's actually how a large majority of motorcycle wrecks happen. It's at no fault of the motorcycle driver. It's whenever they're going down the road, someone doesn't see them, and they pull out in front of them. At that point, the motorcyclist only has a couple of options to either lay their bike over and try to stop, or to go right into the car. Neither of those sound very good whenever, you're whenever you have your body open and unprotected like it is on a motorcycle. So, as the slogan goes, look twice, save a life. Tip number two. Give them the entire lane. It feels like sometimes motorcycles are little vehicles. So they should be able to drive, you know, over and on half the lane or something like that. And we should be able to ride the line and take up a little more of the road because we have bigger vehicles. That's not how it should be. Motorcycles actually need to have the ability to go back and forth across the lane to be able to, uh, to maintain control. I don't know if y'all know this, but Arkansas roads have potholes. In fact, every state's roads have potholes. And if I hit a pothole in my F-150, it's not that big of a deal. It might knock my tires out of alignment, but it's not going to make me a wreck. It's a different story if you're on a motorcycle. If you're on a motorcycle and you hit a big pothole, it could make you flip over the handlebars, it could make you crash, it could lead to injuries, it could lead to, it could lead to death. So we need to give them the lane to let them swerve around and go around potholes and other debris on the road. So give motorcycles their entire lane. They're a vehicle with just as much right to the road as any other vehicle. Finally, tip number three, follow further behind. Motorcycles are much lighter and stop much faster than your average vehicle. That means if that person in front of you, that motorcycle in front of you has to hit their brakes, they're gonna be able to stop in a lot less time and over a lot less distance than you are in your car or truck. When that happens, you end up running into the back of them. And on wrecks that really wouldn't cause a ton of property damage if it was a car on a car or a truck on a truck. Whenever it's a car on a motorcycle or a truck on a motorcycle can be devastating. Again, these people are riding motorcycles without that protective cage around them that we call a car. We need to make sure to avoid all possible wrecks. Things that could be very minor and insignificant whenever you're in your everyday life and it's a car versus a car can be catastrophic when it involves a motorcycle. So head on down to Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue, have a good time, raise money for some good charities, and stay safe. If you remember our three keys to driving safely around motorcycles, I will see you all again next week. Thanks.